Coming up in this month's sit rep, I'll share what happens when the team down tools and leave the office for a day. Prince Harry drops in to say hello to some of our members and springboarders. And we also have been out and about talking to lots of different organizations. You don't want to miss this one. So if you're a supporter of Scotty's, I'm guessing you would have heard the news about Prince Harry attending our event in London recently. It was amazing to see the Duke spending some time with some of our children and young people. He joined in with games like Edible Races, Buckethead, and he was a whiz at sending a Malteser down a tape measure. Who knew? He looked so relaxed and just went totally off his schedule to make sure that he spent as much time as possible and said hello to as many people as possible. He was just a pleasure to be around. The Duke has supported Scotties for such a long time now, which means a lot to us here because we all know that he understands exactly what it's like to experience the death of a parent. And he also served in the military, so he really gets how important the military community is. The event was a safe space for young people to support each other and connect with one another to build friendships and create everlasting memories. After Prince Harry joined in with some of the games he then spent some time with nine members from our council and the ten of them spoke in a private setting and they spoke so openly and honestly about their experiences of growing up without a parent. Although it was a sensitive conversation and quite emotional at times I felt absolutely privileged to witness literally in front of my eyes the bond building between those members and the Duke as they shared their stories and they began to realise just how much they had in common. It just really reinforced to me that it's so powerful and it's just so important for children and young people to be able to chat with others who truly understands what it feels like to grow up without a parent. It doesn't matter who you are, sometimes just talking to others with a shared experience can really, really help. Prince Harry said he's a huge supporter of Scotty's and he's, that he's really proud to be our first ever global ambassador. So I know there's gonna be plenty of other opportunities for members and springboarders to meet him at future events. As a bereavement charity, the nature of what we do means that we are often having some tough conversations and we're listening to some really emotional personal stories. Child bereavement is not an easy subject and it can have an impact on everyone within the team no matter what role they play. And this is why our team days here at Scotty's are so important. It's a chance to down tools, take a step back and spend some time as a team in a fun environment. We recently had a day out at the office and we tackled the escape rooms, so much fun. I am a little bit competitive. And I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna figure it out. It's simple as that. And I even find that on team days, you find out new things about your teammates and you tend to gain new skills as well. So it was a great day and I can't wait for the next one in a few months time. Whilst I'm talking about the team actually, we're always on the lookout for great team members. We wanna make Scotty's the best place to work. Uh, we might not have the right role today, but please feel free to get in touch via team at scottyslittlesoldiers.co.uk. If you think that you have the skills to have a positive impact on the charity, then we would love to hear from you. I've talked before in Sit Reps about our long-term goals here at Scotty's, and one of those goals is to ensure that we help the voice of bereaved children and young people to be heard. For this to happen, it means ensuring that Scotty's has a seat at the table whenever there are conversations to be had that could affect those children and young people. In the past, we've seen that bereaved military children are so easily forgotten or overlooked and they're just not included in some really important conversations. But just lately, the team have been super busy having some incredible conversations. It just finally feels like people are sitting up, paying attention and wanting to include Scotties at the table. We've also established key relationships with partner organisations lately like TAPS, Child Bereavement UK and many more so that we can share best practice and resources, which again is a massive step forward and so positive positive for all involved. I honestly feel like Scotty's has reached another milestone over the last couple of months. Obviously, we still have a lot of work to do and there are lots more conversations to be had, but I am absolutely buzzing because 14 years ago, no one wanted to listen and now I think Scotties are being noticed for their knowledge, expertise and for our culture and the way we do things. Now, of course, we can't do any of this work without your support. Times are tough right now for everybody and charities are no different. We see the struggles our young people face every single day and we know what we need to do to be able to offer the very best support for our bereaved British Forces children and young people, but it all costs money. Scotty's literally cannot exist without people supporting it. Whether it's a one-off donation or taking on an epic challenge, buying a ticket to our annual ball, your support helps to change lives. 
To find out more about how to get involved, then just head over to our website, the link's in the description. And that's it for this month's sit rep, but be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scotty's TV, and make sure you press the notification button too, so you'll know every time we upload a new video. I'll see you next month. If you want to take a look at Prince Harry at our event, then you can watch the video just here. And if you want to go onto our website to get involved, then just click the link here.